Welcome to part two of the first episode of Discord Art Critique. If you haven't watched part one, you know, I definitely recommend you checking that one out because in there I explain a lot of things which I won't go into detail anymore in here. I basically split the episode in two because it was getting too long. So watch that one first. Definitely also leave feedback down below what you want different in this format. Like, do you like it how it is? Am I explaining too much? Am I explaining too little? Am I going too slow? Do you want more timeless, more voiceover, more whatever? Please let me know and have fun watching peace here we go i found the artwork from liam he basically painted beerus taking a bath and if i'm not mistaken this is his second digital artwork ever and he tried a more realistic style i think most of us know how it is to try realistic at first and i can tell you that most of my early artworks looked exactly like this and i think many people are in that position that is why i chose this I also think that Liam is quite willing to learn, so I would give him this opportunity and give him some advice along the way. I'm quite excited to paint over this because it doesn't really take a lot to fix something like this. Let's go into Photoshop and analyze some of the things that I would like to fix. First things first, make a new layer, color it with white and set the mode to color. Overall there's not much wrong with the values. Personally I think this whole thing could could take a little bit more of contrast. Like here you can see that this area blends too much and here the mushroom and the, the grass I guess are a little bit too similar in value. So this is what I would like to fix. I would also like to remove the detail in the sky because it's sharp it's as sharp as the grass in the foreground which usually never happens if you take a photo there's only like a certain area that is in focus here i think we want to have mirrors in focus and the rest is not that important i think the first thing i want to tackle are the shadows and the reflections because if you look at it the reflections are going in this direction really what would happen is like if you look from this angle the duck would reflect like this and Beerus would look something like this. The shape of the reflection, of course, the reflection would look like that, obviously, but the shape would be something like that. So I don't know if I'm going to get to there today or if I will have another session, but I think I will start adjusting some of the colors because also water usually reflects whatever is around. Water is not blue like in some cartoons water reflects the sky mostly if it's outside so here it would be the same color as the sky yeah there's a few areas like that that i want to fix but of course i will explain more things during the time lapse So it's now one and a half weeks later and I just found a little bit of time to continue working and actually to look at what I've done so far because I completely forgot what I've been doing. So let's take a look together. Okay, I definitely remember this one. It was by Liam from Discord. We started doing the water, if I remember correctly. Yeah, water and the reflections are in the right spot now. Yeah, some of the shadows, the gold on his arms, the clouds. Okay, yeah, I do remember this one. Honestly, I would just say let's get back into it. I'll paint a little bit more and voiceover Tom will be responsible to explain you what I'm doing. And maybe we get back in and review it together in the end. I figured since this is something a lot of people don't know, I might as well cover it here as a little tutorial, a little extra bonus content. Basically for the second light source. I know these look very rough, but they look decent if you scroll far away. And I want to show it to you on the dock because I still have to do them here. So basically the water is reflecting the sunlight. This is why I would also see all these bluish highlights on Beerus. How do they work? Where to put them? And how do I know they are needed? You see on the duck, like this part here is bright, here is bright, here it's bright, here it's bright, and probably it should also be bright here, but 
Beerus could also be blocking that light, so I'm not putting it in there. It wasn't there in the beginning, so I'm leaving it as Liam wanted it to be. The sun is the brightest light source in this scene. So there is no other light that can overpower it. So naturally, we cannot make the blue light source here. Only part where the light would be visible is in the shadow areas. So you cannot put different colored highlights on top of already existing highlights. It's always the most powerful light source and the other ones are just in the shadows. So here on the bill of the duck, you would probably see a little bit of blue here. Why? Because the sun is coming down, reflecting on here and it's hitting the bill on this side. Same here and here and here and here. The light cannot come like this and go like this so it would not show on the upper part so this is why Beerus is just reflecting the light from underneath him and if you want to go crazy you could even like the sun would hit here and if this is a reflective surface it would probably reflect here so I might even add that later on but right now I'm working on the water so this is why I haven't done it yet I hope that makes sense so following that logic we can highlight I don't know how how plastic or like it it looks like it has feathers so I'm not doing it that crazily like if it was plastic it would be much brighter highlights but feathers like a rougher texture like a fur or feathers they tend to break up the light so it like scatters around and it doesn't appear as bright so if you take a rug and you point a flashlight at it you won't really see many highlights yes there will be a few but it won't be nearly as bright as if you took a like a plastic sheet or a metal sheet or something. So you always have to consider that and with the duck I will just lightly just make a few bright blue feathers the same way he did it. Again this is not me trying to make a better artwork, this is me just improving or showing him what he could have done to make it a little bit better because really this is not this does not require more skills it just requires more knowledge and i think with the next artwork if you apply these changes in my opinion the duck looks a lot better and we can go back and forth really shiny water and i really like that but let's go back to the time lapse and voice of tom might explain a little bit more about it depending if i have forgot something right now how many times do we have to teach you this lesson old man yeah i just noticed that i recorded a whole bunch of stuff without recording it so i painted a whole bunch of stuff but nothing actually recorded so i figured i will just go through it and explain what i did it's really nothing special i hope if the only thing i think that you missed is the background and to be honest let's just show it quickly all i did is take a brush rough in some trees like this and here like this i think it's just a few it's literally just random brush strokes take a brown add a tree stump take a yellowish green for the bright leaves for the highlights so we didn't want all trees to be the same so i just picked like a blue for these highlights obviously i spent a little bit more time but actually not that much like it's really this quick and this is actually it and then i all i did was to apply a gaussian blur and here we have it then i just cleaned up the edges a little bit and if you do all that you get this in the end it's nothing major it's just randomly brushing in stuff and blurring it so much that it's not even visible anymore didn't want any details didn't want to spend too much time on it but you can actually get pretty nice looking backgrounds if i'm really painting backgrounds you can just literally put in colored like blobs and spots in there and once it's blurred it looks like a tree with tree branches and pine trees in the background i just blended it a little bit more like give it a bluish tint at the bottom so we have some aerial perspective like it, it's a little bit foggy maybe that way Beerus also stands out better you can clearly see his shape and the background doesn't distract also because the colors are quite nice they contrast really well with the purple and the yellow just the blue background can get really boring but those trees literally took me two minutes to create and they add a lot so only thing i want to do here and i finally have to leave in a few minutes so i will just add a few things in the foreground in order to achieve a better depth i have a background now i have a i have a mid ground like the main focal point Beerus and the duck and then i want something in the in the foreground 
which will probably be polar grass or something to make it stand out more. Might look like you're creeping through it and watching viewers path. But it's actually kind of fun, I think, so why not? I need something in the foreground. I mean, it doesn't need anything, but having stuff like layered always makes the artwork better. So yeah, I hope I covered everything that I did. Yeah, next time you see me, I'll be finished. Peace. So, I have to leave and work on something else in a few minutes, but I figured let's analyze what I've done. For this artwork it actually makes sense to put them side by side because I actually changed quite a few things. For Cole, I didn't change a lot, I just made the character stand out more, but here I did actually quite a few things. First of all, obviously the background. The sky was a bit too detailed, the clouds, like it's just a clear line, I blurred it a little bit more, I reduced the contrast because we don't want a lot of contrast in areas that don't matter as much. So I added a nicer background, something a bit more interesting, but then again it's not too complicated and too interesting so it doesn't distract. It just adds to the scene without distracting and that's very important to get a fine line between those two things. I'm sure, Liam, this is your second ever artwork. I'm sure your third and fourth one will be a lot better, but this is why I want to show you these things so you can consider other things while drawing. So the other thing I changed is the water. Obviously the water is a reflection of the surrounding. It's not really blue. It's not fully unrealistic for Liam to have a blue color like this in his water. But in that case, beers would have to dye the water first, like put some food coloring in there or something. And that's not really realistic. I don't think most people do that. I personally wouldn't do that. And I would just stick to normal water. I think your intention was to draw normal water. So I just recolored it, basically using the same colors that are in the sky. And I mixed in some purple and orange, added some nicer reflections. Obviously this is very rough. I could render this a lot more and have a perfectly realistic artwork. But I think for demonstration's sake this is enough. Then I added the foreground. In your case what I didn't like was that the mushroom isn't blurred but the grass behind and in front of the mushroom is blurred. Or it's just a soft brush I know but realistically you don't see blurry grass work growing like that. Either everything in that area is blurred or not. That's just how the eye and the camera works. Like if you take a picture of a camera one object is in focus, everything behind and in front of that object is blurry. So this is what I've done here. Beerus is fully in focus and I just reduced the focus or blurred the front area a little bit. I repainted your, your mushrooms, I gave the white spots some details, some shadow and I put the white spots on the edge as well. Yours just have white spots on in the middle and there's nothing on the edge. Makes it a little bit unrealistic, it looks flat. If you consider the mushroom as a 3D shape, it would realistically have those spots everywhere. So this is what I wanted to do. Added a few grass parts on the front and blurred the entire thing. That's the same thing I did with the background. Paint it roughly, like really rough, but then blur it as an entire thing and everything will be equally blurred. And that's how you really achieve a great blur effect. Not painting blurry grass often doesn't work because the mushroom, you could also paint the blurry mushroom right away but it's really hard to get the amount of blurriness equal and it has to be equal for the effect to work. I think it works quite well here. Another thing I blurred is the tail. Like it's nice that it's there, I think this is a nice touch, but realistically I don't think that it's important to be as sharp as here. It just goes into the back, it's covered by a little bit of grass, it just shows the tail is chilling in the back and Beerus is having a nice time. And obviously the part that stands out the most, I think, is Beerus's chiseled abs, packs, his bicep, the entirety of Beerus actually. I added a lot more detail without adding a lot more detail. The only thing I've done is I actually just added a few darker and a few brighter colors. So the darker shadow is a lot darker than it was in yours, just adds a bit of contrast and it helps give you the 3D look. Just don't go too much into it, like don't make it too dark, but it needed a bit more darker shadows for the entire thing to have more contrast and to look a little bit more realistic, a little bit more 3D-ish. 
I think I covered everything now. So this is it guys for the first episode of Discord Art Critique. I think that's going to be the name of the series. And please join the Discord server if you want to get your artworks free drawn as well. I will prioritize people who boost at the server because you guys actually paid money to be on the server and to help the server out. Maybe if I paint one of yours, I will put a little bit more, more, a little bit more effort into it. But that also might mean that the episode with people who boosted might take a little bit longer because I will put a little bit more time into it. But those will hopefully be worth it. Um, Liam, thank you so much for submitting this. Cole, thank you so much for posting regularly on the server. Both of you are really regular people on there. So I hope you both enjoyed what I did with your art. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, follow, whatever it is that you want to do. And I'm out. Peace. <laughs>